Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to try to cut this brake drum on a standard engine lathe. Let's get to it. I had never been into the rear brakes on this truck before, but I was changing the rear wheel bearings yesterday. And I got in here, and look at that. This is the good side. As you can see, the shoes definitely need to be replaced. The drum is not in great shape either. I can't find one of these locally, and it's a Sunday. Nobody around here seems to turn them, so we're going to see what we can do about this ourselves. I don't have a brake lathe, but I have a standard old engine lathe, and this drum does fit in the swing of it. It's real close. I think what I want to do is take this index hole here and put it uh, on here so I'm holding it from the inside. My primary concern is that this is thin and that's not going to give a whole lot of friction to hold it. So we have to come up with some way to make sure that this is held tight while we're cutting out here. I don't know how to get a good view on this with the camera, but there's a huge trough back here and a bunch of grooves here. This trough feels like it's probably a hundred thousandths below this area. And then this area is probably 50 below this untouched uh, part of the drum. So it's there's a huge difference there. I know what you're saying. It's probably garbage. You should throw it away at this point. Well... If this is all I have until I can order another one, this is what I'm going to go with. Let's face it, we've all driven on drums that were worse than this, so if I cut it thin and it's flat, it's better than what I have here. I don't have a boring bar that's long enough to go in here that also is thick enough to provide the rigidity I think we're going to need on this. I do have this steel tool holder, though. Maybe if I put it in, angle the turret so that it comes in at an angle instead of straight, that'll work. You know, the problem I'm running into now is the carriage right here is hitting. So I need a tool that sticks out past this part of the carriage. I think this is going to make a lot of ringing noise and give some serious chatter. I've got this huge chunk of tool steel that I picked up on eBay years ago. It's never been used by me. Eh, let's see if maybe it'll work. I'm gonna run it and just touch the surface. We'll see how far in that goes. I think it's gonna work. Let's slow this thing down as much as possible. You can see right there this line. So the edge of the shoe is over here and we're probably a good quarter inch in further than that. So that should work. Now we just have to figure out how to forcibly hold this on. Alright, it turns out that this, from probably heating and cooling, as a brake always does, 
it is just super hard and it's eating this high speed steel bit it, I mean there is nothing it's just it's scraping off rust and then dulling this thing right out not one to be deterred I'm going to try to use a carbide bit but obviously this won't fit so I'm going to take this railroad spike we're going to cut the end off here and here and then braise this in so that it sticks out you know something like that You can see I'm taking this outside ridge off and it actually doesn't look horrible. Surface finish isn't great, but it's cutting. Honestly I've lost count of how much I've taken off here, but you can see all the way at the inside I still haven't touched. You can see some of the grooves. But generally speaking, it's actually coming out pretty nicely. That surface finish is not near as bad as the really loud ringing would uh, make you think that it is. This thing rings like a bell. I know on an actual brake lathe, you usually put a rubber strap around this to kill the harmonics, but I don't have something like that. Well, it's not perfect, but boy, it's a whole lot better than it was. You can see it's still low on the very inside there. And it's got a couple of grooves here. This didn't clean up perfectly. There's still some pitting, but the shoe doesn't ride out here. So I'm not terribly concerned about it. It's way better than it was. So we're going to put it in. And there you have it. One drum turned on an engine lathe. Thanks for watching.